unique thing is, if you have hypoglycemia or problems with low blood sugar, which I had a lot during my life, you've got a problem with glucagon. The glucagon is the hormone that tells the fat to be able to be used and changed for energy. And that's low blood sugar. That's low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. I started having problems with this uh, many years, when I was a child even, because we, my dad bought a farm, we'd eat our oatmeal or breakfast, and then we'd go work for six hours. And for a kid, you don't eat very much to start with, and then there was no snacks or anything for the next six hours. Then we'd go home and my mom would make us a high carb lunch, massive, and then we'd go back and work for six hours, and then we'd go home and have you know, some carbs for dinner. We didn't get enough protein or fats, and so I would get low blood sugar really easily. So if, if somebody has low blood sugar, their glucagon, the glucagon also tells the liver to release the stored sugar immediately so that you can get a little sugar while the body's breaking down the fats. Mm -hmm. But if you get low blood sugar fairly easily, that's what you need. The pancreas makes the glucagon to tell the liver to release sugar and the body to release the fats. So what do you mean by chemicals? Just the chemicals that our body makes. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that, make sure it wasn't like what my mother said she suffered for through the, you know, chemicals in the air. You know. Oh, no, not toxins. toxins. Yeah, those are environmental toxins. The chemicals that our body makes can be really, yeah. well, do, you, do you use a pendulum or do you use muscle no, testing? I, I use this yeah. and I'm getting a little bit better at just yeah. feeling it. But yeah, good. And it'll come, the feeling that. comes as you, as you do the muscle test. Joanne told me when she first started muscle testing, I'm starting to feel it before I even get my fingers written. <laughs> So it comes with the practice. It does. It comes with the practice. The more you do. And the methylation process where they change the B vitamins. Um, you've heard of folate as a B vitamin. The methylation has something to do with the folate. And it just it's it, it has to do with the change. I realize that my daughter Elise that's mentally handicapped doesn't methylate well. And often it will cause learning problems when people aren't methylating well. Sometimes it comes in the DNA, sometimes it doesn't. She gets car sick real easy, that's one indication that you struggle with B vitamin sick because B12 and B6 are what you need when you get car sick a lot of times. That's mean, that means you don't, you're not getting enough of the yeah. B vitamins. You're not, not using them very well. Yeah. She's the youngest of nine. She wanted so much to just be like her siblings. So she couldn't catch up or ever keep up. Okay, so we started out at a three for her, and now we're at an eight. So we brought it up, but we're not done yet. So there's something else we need to do besides the change. So is there an organ involved that we need to look at? No. Is it just the B vitamins? Does she accept the B vitamins? And can she change the B vitamins? And does her body accept the changed vitamins? She can't accept it after they've changed now. So they're all changed. They're trying to methylate and stuff, but she, her body doesn't want to accept those B vitamins now. So they, they usually represent something. What does that represent to her? Is it that she won't ever be enough? That even if she changes, she'll never... She'll never be like her siblings. She'll never be like her siblings. Mm -hmm. She'll never be like normal people. Mm -hmm. She'll never be... And, and school was part of that. She'll never be like her peers and her siblings. Shelly, you're a 10. Oh, cool. Whoa. <laughs> Just follow our lead. <laughs> eat what I eat. 10, but my <laughs> mind was really low for a long time until I worked on it. So let's do a quick session on each other. Um, pick a partner and let's work on glucagon because every one of you need that. Almost. Have you and those, those that have a 10, work on somebody that isn't a 10. And so, so the, the emotion is usually not being able to produce enough of something, it's glucagon, or the, the cells don't, the, cell, the fat cells don't accept the glucagon, okay? So let's do that real quick.